Alright, we've got a show for you today. You're going to love it. My name is Miss Osterlin and I teach orchestra and you get to join orchestra when you're in fifth grade. Um, what you're going to hear in the first piece is a fiddle tune and it was arranged by another orchestra teacher in Fargo. And at the end of the piece, I want you to listen for something called pizzicato slap. It's where the big instruments, cello and bass, pizzicato and then slap the fingerboard. I hope you like it.
chains said the mouse, bare pointed a rigid claw toward the door. Yes, then, here I go, said the mouse. Farewell. And the mouse whisked out the door. This time, Bear shut the door very firmly and locked it tight. He locked the windows, too, for good measure. Then once again, he went back to the business of making his breakfast. But when he opened the fridge to get one egg, there was the mouse. Small and gray and bright eyed, of course. Be gone, roared Bear. A crackling fire, grunted the mouse. This is impossible, intolerable, insufferable, cried Bear, shaking with anger and disbelief. Terribly sorry, murmured the mouse. Now you see me, now you don't. I'm gone. And the mouse looked very sorry indeed while he waited for Bear to unbolt the door and let him out again. This time, before he went back to the business of making his breakfast, Bear shut the door very, very, very firmly, locking it tight. Boarded the window shut, stopped up the chimney, even plugged the drain in the bathtub. Carefully, Bear set about the business of making his breakfast. He opened the cupboard. No mouse. Ah. He opened the bread drawer. Nothing. Whew. He opened the fridge. Mouse free, yes indeed. He lifted the lid to the tea kettle. There was the mouse! Small and gray and bright eyed. Bear fell upon the floor and wept. I give up, he blubbered. You win. I'm undone. So sorry, said the mouse. But perhaps if we could have just a bit of cheese and a cup of tea, do you think we could unstuck the chimney and have a nice fire? Bear blew his nose with a loud honk. But then you must go, he sniffled. No visitors allowed. You have my word, said the mouse. Sign and 
tearing it up. That's for salesmen, not for friends. Not for friends, asked the mouse, small and gray and bright eyed. Bear nodded. The mouse's bright eyes glowed brighter. Bear smiled. Do you like one lump or two? said Bear most politely. My, I do like two, said the mouse. And Bear agreed.
we're doing three parts on. So thanks to our extra group down here doing a third part on shaking the pipe. from Jamaica. So in the middle, you're going to hear some interesting stuff. Instead of singing, we're either going to be doing some, some vocal chanting. It's kind of, you kind of have to imagine that you're at a marketplace in Jamaica. This poor guy is bringing his aki from the aki tree, but 
No one wants to buy it because everybody has like 20 billion Aki trees on their farm, just like Zucchini here. So he's trying to sell this Aki thing and nobody wants them and he's getting kind of discouraged of it. So listen for the marketplace in the middle.
It can be a great audience.